Good day. My name is Peter. Welcome to the VAT Short and Sweet series, where we explore the world of value-added taxes. The series consists of several short presentations that build upon each other. Today we're at presentation number two of 15 in our journey. See the presentation topics covered in this series for a full list of the presentations. The verbal script is not a verbatim of the written text. You can pause the video at any time to read the full text. The goal of this presentation is to provide a brief overview of the legal framework found when dealing with VAT law. This presentation does not seek to provide a detailed review of legislation, creation, administration, or application. There are two important divisions of law. The first division is between primary and secondary authority. Primary authority includes constitutions, legislation, duly authorized regulations, and court decisions. Secondary authority includes books and, and other periodicals that are not word-for-word -word reproductions of primary authority. Example, a pamphlet explaining VAT rates. The second division of law is between mandatory and persuasive authority. Mandatory authority is a body of work that courts must follow, example, VAT legislation within their country. Persuasive authority is a body of work that courts do not need to follow, but may find helpful in arriving at a decision. Example, a court decision of another country. In short, courts are generally only bound to follow primary authority that is mandatory. If a person regularly deals with the VAT of a country, they would be wise to familiarize themselves with the primary mandatory authority of that country. Some countries have a considerable number of court decisions regarding VAT. Furthermore, some VAT authorities have produced a large amount of documentation that constitutes secondary authority. Conversely, some countries have few, if any, court decisions or secondary authority. Because VAT laws often have common topics, themes, and elements, a person may look to the primary and or secondary authority of other countries for guidance in understanding an issue. However, this is very important. The authority of one country should not be relied upon to establish primary mandatory authority of another country. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next presentation.